Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Take On Tottenham. My name is Ben and this is my Take On Tottenham. And full-time result, Tottenham nil, Everton nil. Um, <laughs> it was a bit of a good match, to be, to be honest, considering it was a, a nil-nil. Um, usually when you see nil-nils, they're quite boring. They're quite, you know, sort of stalemate uh, results. But I, I generally thought it was quite an entertaining game. Um, I thought both teams... Uh, sort of were going at it and uh yeah it was a lot not a lot there was a couple of frustrations from from Spurs some uh, sort of pre Conte frustrations and things but um overall it was a better display uh from Tottenham and that's kind of what we need to start seeing of course um so like I said first half was quite here or there you know Larice wasn't really under didn't have too much to do in the first half. Spurs, you know, trying to create chances, but not really, again, sort of similarly to, to Lloris, not really testing uh, Pickford. Um, and the second half, really, it was even again. Um, you know, Everton had some really good spells. I think Spurs Spurs dropped off more in the second half. I, think, I feel like the, the first half belonged to Spurs, the second half belonged to Everton. No, they were probably the better result there. Um <laughs> But <clears throat> yeah, it was it was a tight game. It was a really tight game. Um, let's get down to the VAR call because that was obviously um, obviously the, the big talking point of, of the game. So um, obviously Richarlison uh, went down in the box um, when Larice went to grab the ball. Um, I've got to be honest. When I looked at it first time, I went, I don't think that was a penalty. And I think looking at it as tight as, as it is, and it is a very tight call on VAR, uh, from VAR, I've, I think it was the right decision. I think Lloris just gets his hand on the ball. It is absolutely, you know, finest margins, but I think it was the right decision. Bias, of course, I'm going to say that as a Spurs fan. Um Everton fans or you know probably say no he didn't that's just how it is but from my opinion from my perspective I thought Larice just got his hand to the ball and thus I thought it was a right decision um and then it really I, I feel like that 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 decision really started um changing the the way the game was going it was like I said it was quite a fiercely contested game anyway um you know and uh, like I said, the the decision it got the fans going. Um, you know, Everton were, were going hard in challenges. Spurs were going hard in challenges. Everyone, everyone was getting a bit. Uh, um, and then I think there was a little incident in the in the box where uh, Romero and Richarlison had uh, sort of gone together. They'd been having a battle the whole afternoon as well. Um, a bit of shit halsery from uh, from Richarlison, which is kind of normal for him. Um, but trying to get a penalty was it? Um, I can't remember what happened there. The uh, with Romero, they kind of put their heads together. I think. Uh, oh no, it was the handball decision. He was trying to get a handball off uh, Hoybier, and the, you watch the replay, and Hoybier literally just moves his hand behind his back, and it's like, come on, mate, come on. Um, but yeah, really, it, like I said, it was a tight game. Um, Spurs went close at the end. Los also. Uh, hitting the post for a really good effort, and it's really frustrating for me as a you know seeing Lasalso because like you saw the best of Lasalso with that chance, like the way he created the chance went really close, and then you saw the worst of Lasalso when he whipped a corner in, and to be honest, the corner that he did, and it was in added time, it just gave me vibes of Christian Eriksen's last season at Spurs where the corner didn't get past the first man. And it's a woeful corner. It's not what you want to be seeing. Um, you know, especially in the last minutes of the game. Like, it's just unforgivable. It really is. I, I think that stuff is unforgivable because it's like, come on. Like, you has to get at least past the first man. It was a woeful corner. I'm just seeing Mason Holgate's uh, red cards. Um, I think it was a red card as well. I know VAR sort of looked at that and overturned it again. But... A definite red card for me. His boots high. It's high on Hoybier's leg, and it's a red card. I don't think he mean meant it or anything, but it's a red card challenge. Um, so yeah, 
nil nil. Um, I, I feel like a couple of people are going to be going. Oh, that Vitesse result was a bit close. Oh, and we can't even beat Everton. Conte, like, come on. I, to be honest, and I'm not trying to talk down Conte here. To be honest, I, we're still watching a Nuno team in a little bit of a different setup because Conte has hardly had any time to work with the squad. And now they're all going off on international duty again, which seems like about a week, two weeks after the last one. And, yeah, it, it is what it is, really. I, th I think, like you said, we've got Leeds in uh, on the 21st of November, I think it is. So that will be a very tight game, very difficult game in itself. But Conte's just not had any time really to to really get into these guys. And we've seen a change in the system with the back three, uh, with Davies coming in. Um, I really like Reguilón's new sort of proper proper wing-back position now where he's, he's getting so high up the pitch. And luckily, reguilón has got the, the pace to get back, as has Emerson Royale, which is quite good to see. And they're getting very high up the field. I thought Spurs played some very nice football today as well. Like at times, I really thought, um, as, you know, when they got the ball, they, they were passing it around while they were trying to create opportunities. And it was just one of those games where it just wouldn't fall, like for either team. And yeah, it, it is one of those really. But I thought Spurs played a lot better. And I... I do feel like that under Nuno, we would have lost this game. I, if you watched my last video, I said we would lose this game. And that was before, obviously, uh, Nuno was sacked. But I, I just I thought Spurs played a lot better today. I know I know people get frustrated about the result, but I thought they played a lot better. I thought they played some really nice football at times. The, obviously, the shots on target thing will come up because I, I don't think they had one until, you know, I think the closest we had was the Salsa hitting the post. Um, but, look, like I said, Conte's Tottenham will take time to to mould, and after two games, um, like I said, there's going to be no time really going into it at the minute. So let's just let's just give him some time. It's fine. I know the performance wasn't what people will be expecting immediately, but come on, we have to give it some time. Like I said, there's an international break now as well. Again, so um, let's just give it some time. See what happens. See how we go. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. But yeah, that's it. Nil nil. Um, it's a shame. A win for Spurs. I think we'll have seen them go fifth uh, with the way the results went yesterday. So um, although I think Arsenal won, so it might have been like six or something. I can't remember. But um, yeah, it's disappointing. I think, um, but it's a work in progress, isn't it? So we have to go with that. So uh, let me know what you thought in the uh, about the match in the comment section below. Um, what do you think of the uh, the penalty decision? Because that was a big talking point. Let me know about that. Um, apologies on the video setup at the minute. I know people, what's different? Um, the graphics and stuff. Um, it's right now, I've got a load of stuff going on outside of, uh, you know, home, personal stuff, whatever's going on. Um, so it's just easier for me to, uh, and quicker, way quicker, to just stick these videos straight up on YouTube. Um, you know, from my phone and stuff. So, um, so from for now, uh, for the next couple of weeks at least, it's going to be going straight up on my phone. Um, so yeah, apologies about that, but it is what it is. So, um, so yeah, if you like what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button, uh, notification bell, all that, and the like button if I haven't already said that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, come on, you Spurs. <laughs>